Hey traders, Roggy here. And uh, what I wanted to do here this morning, this beautiful Saturday morning here in South Florida, is walk you through my, my trading rig. I've got a lot of questions about it since I posted it on Instagram. And I thought I would share with you what I've set up here. It's very budget friendly. I mean, look, there's a lot of things we can do as traders to, to set up our rigs. And sometimes we do it for the cool factor, but not necessarily the functional factor. So I'll tell you what I've done, why I've done it, and about what everything cost me. Now, you can see we're still sort of kind of uh, sorting out the wires and whatnot, but for the most part, it's it's much cleaner back there. We'll, we'll do another tour of uh, sort of the wiring, what I've got hardware-wise. But basically, what we have here is straight up simple. It's a dining room table from Ikea. It's a 92-inch dining room table from Ikea. I think that's a kasha, if that's the way you pronounce it, wood. Really basic, like a picnic table style. Behind me, you can see are, well, I have in total 10 screens. One's a television, that's small. I think that TV's about 15 years old. I don't watch television, that's for sure. Uh, but I do keep it up because for certain uh, events like non-farm payroll, or if there's a press conference, I do like to have uh, the TV on. So occasionally I'll turn the, as my mother calls it, the dumb box on. Uh, there's a 24 inch monitor sitting below that, which is a remnant of my old setup. But the new setup is eight 27 inch uh, LEDs. It, they're Philips LEDs. Gang, they cost about a buck 35 each. Uh, now, a lot of folks ask me why did I, why did I not go with say the, the 49 inch, uh, those curved really wide screens. And number one, you know, I have to be cognizant of two things. One, if I have some sort of failure in the monitor, I don't wanna lose what would amount to three of those 27 inch monitors, because that's really what it would replicate, three of those. So if I have a monitor failure, A, there's potentially $1,300 down the drain, which I'd much rather have in my account and not sitting on my desk. And again, it's, it's really about redundancy. I've got eight monitors. If something happens to even half of them, I live in South Florida, we have awful storms. I've got a very beefy battery backup, but things happen. And so I don't wanna be in a situation where I have some sort of hardware catastrophic type issues. So the redundancy is really nice. The other thing is I really don't like the way the curved monitors look. They wouldn't have fit here perfectly. I would have really had uh, maybe two, room for two of them. And then that would, be, that would be six monitors. And I really like the real estate of eight to 10. Okay, now the other question I get is, well, Rod, why so many? You know, do I need that? Well, right in front of me, and I'll show you another time when the desk isn't so messy, but my husband's got a quad layout, two across the top, two across the bottom. And that was after he had a dual set up and a, then a three monitor set up, and now he's gone to four. And he's as he's trading more and he's comfortable looking at more, we've actually expanded his, his layout. He's been trading with me since last year. August now, and he's doing tremendously well. He's trading mostly directional puts and calls and, and some day trading with me, and he's gone to four monitors now. So what I have here, of course, though, is because I'm writing my fourth book, I'm running uh, sometimes in two different chat rooms, and sometimes I've got Forex day trades, futures day trades, and my options trades. Now, this is pretty dormant right now. Like I said, it's a Saturday morning. I've got my uh, trade station charts up right now and I'm just doing a little bit of weekend homework. But normally these are all lit up with one or two chat rooms, uh, my different platforms that I run, and we'll do a separate video on that sometime, and then uh, different services that I'm looking at, whether that be I'm running my Twitter or, or different news services that I, that I have running at any given time. So there's that. So I like to also kind of separate all the different things I'm looking at. I don't feel the need to look at them all in, uh, in, in one streamlined look. So again, uh, dining room table, 92 inch dining room table from Ikea. That was $450, okay? This isn't about fancy equipment. Whatever capital you have, put in your account, not in some trading rig. Um, I would say spend money on your computer. Spend money on, on, on a good computer, lots of memory. We'll talk about hardware in a separate video. Don't spend money on, on monitors. Uh, again, $150. Uh, monitors at most, I think they're at 135 on Amazon right now, 27 inch LEDs. Now, uh, one of the things that has have come way down in price are the on the desk stands. I don't know if you guys can see this, but what we have is an on the desk stand. So you can see that the uh, these stands that I've got here, they sit on the desk. And so what that means 
is that I'm not bolting anything to the walls anymore and I'm not having to clip anything uh, onto the edge of my desk. I'd rather just have it sit. And, and these are these are great and they cost um, 50 bucks, 45 or 50 bucks each from Amazon. So again, I'm really cost conscious because what happens is if I share this with members, you know, a lot of members are like, okay, that's what I need to be a, you know, a professional trader. Oh gosh, gang, no, that's not what you need. Um, you need education, put your money into education. You need money in your trading account, put that money into a trading account. If you want to get fancy, go for it. But look, I've been trading for, for three decades and this is about as fancy as I've ever gotten. You know, if I need to go trade from my laptop, I can. I'll, I'll flank that laptop with two 17 inch travel USB monitors and I can still get what I need to get done. Uh, you know, so that's really it. Surround yourself with the things you like. Surround yourself with, with things that mean something to you. Um, you know, with, with things on your desk, keep it minimal, but you know, keep it inspirational, keep it clean and, and keep it inexpensive. Don't, don't get all fancy. All right, fancy doesn't make you money. I hope that helps. Um, probably drug on a little bit longer than I wanted it to. But, uh, I, oh yeah, I guess the last thing I have to show you all is, is the chair. A lot of folks have asked about the uh, chair. It's a Secret Labs chair. This is the uh, Omega. Uh, I love this chair. One of the members recommended this chair to me and uh, I love it. It's, it's the best chair by far I've ever had. And I've sat, and, and no offense to any of the other chair manufacturers, um, I've sat in the Herman Miller Aerons, I've sat in Steelcase, I've had the Bosu Ball, I've had kneeling chairs, everything. And, and this is a gaming chair from a company in Australia called Secret Lab and uh, definitely my favorite by far. Okay, that's the tour. Uh, thanks for watching as always. I'll, I'll list all the different equipment and, and the links if you'd like to, to check it out and I'll see you all uh, next time we do a little office tour, okay? And, and I definitely will cover the, uh, I'm looking at it right now, my husband's rigs. I think for a lot of you, and it's a corner setup. You know, this takes up an entire wall here in my office. And I, I trade from home. I've been trading from home, uh, gosh, since I was a teenager, right? Uh, so I trade from home. So it takes up uh, an entire wall of one of the offices, uh, rooms here in my house. All right. Okay. I'll see you in the next update.